channel and welcome if you're new here happy saturday it is saturday so you know what that means it is grocery haul day i have quite a fun haul for you i actually went to four stores and i have a ton and I mean a ton of new food finds for you. I'm going to be sharing with you all the goodies that I picked up and also my meal plan and meal prep for the upcoming week. So if you're new, don't miss a single video. Make sure that you are subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. Thumbs up this video if you love grocery hauls and let's jump into this week's grocery haul. So here is this week's grocery haul. So I ended up going to Natural Grocers, which is my local like Whole Foods Sprouts type of a store. I did Walmart pickup, also hit up Target and Trader Joe's. So what is not shown is a case of Coors Light for my husband, as always, and a case of Diet Coke for him, as always. So let's jump into this rather big grocery haul. This is upside down because it came open, but this is that same pack of kombucha that I always get that has the two ginger berries, two ginger aids, and two trilogies. But when I was at Natural Grocers, they actually had all their kombucha on sale for $2.50, which is the lowest that I've ever seen it. Come to find out it was their anniversary, so I did get a few other freebies from them. I got a free reusable tote, I got a free chocolate bar that I'll show you, and then a bag of like sample, like healthcare samples. I haven't even dug into that yet. But since I was there, and it doesn't go bad, I grabbed a ton. So I think I grabbed three of the Unity, which is the cherry, coconut, and lemongrass. I love this one, and that one is seasonal. And then, yep, there's another Unity. And then I picked up a couple of the gingerberry because that's really one of my favorites. And then I have not had the Strawberry Serenity in a minute, so I had to pick that up as well. And then I think I also, yep, grabbed a Hibiscus Ginger. I have not tried this one. So I am stocked up on my kombucha. I probably won't even need to get any next week, but I could not pass that really good deal up. Of course, a repurchase of the Good Foods plant-based queso dip. You guys, this is the best queso dip ever. And you know my love for Siete, but this one wins. This one is even better than Siete. And the main reason I went to Natural Grocers is for Good Culture Cottage Cheese. I picked up four of them. I was hoping they'd be on sale, but they weren't. But I did grab four. They don't expire until mid-September, so I'll definitely eat them. I literally eat this every day. So four of those. And then at Target, a repurchase of the Perfect Bites. I actually really like these. And sometimes I just want a little something before or after my Jazzercise workout, and I can have half a serving of these, and it tides me over. They're really good. They have seven grams of protein and 20 superfoods and basically they're these little bites so they're just mini versions of the perfect bar because the perfect bars are really high in calories and points so I love these and anytime I go to Target I like to pick them up I did grab another three pack of the organic grass-fed grass finished ground beef at Walmart only because I'm afraid meat prices will continue to rise and so I wanted to grab this while it was still only $17 so I just cut up the three packs and throw them in my freezer for my husband's lunches this week, he wanted like an Italian BMT sandwich. So he wanted bologna and then I picked him up like salami and then big, big rounds of pepperoni. So that's what he's going to do for his lunches, salami, pepperoni, and bologna. I did grab another bag of the light Mexican blend from Trader Joe's. I have several recipes this next week that calls for this cheese. So I picked up another bag. And then at Walmart, I just restocked my Siggies because like I've mentioned, it's the only store in my area I can find these. So this is the mixed berry. I grabbed two of those and two of the vanilla. I love this yogurt. It's a good whole milk yogurt and it's so satisfying and creamy and delicious. So highly recommend. And then at Target, I decided to try the Cho Bonnie Flip. This is the mint chocolate chip. I have quite a few new finds for you guys actually and this is one of them i have never tried this so i'm going to give it a shot i only grabbed one one because the ingredients aren't the best but i thought that i would use it more as a treat or a dessert so 
We'll give it a shot and see what we think. And then I also picked up this lactose-free Green Valley Organic Sour Cream from Natural Grocers. This is just four recipes this next week. And then down here from Trader Joe's, I picked up some more crumbled blue cheese for my gen salad as well as for my lunch prep. You guys wait till you see what I'm making for lunches. At Natural Grocers, I also grabbed the Siete Grain-Free Tortilla Chips. This is the sea salt in avocado oil. These are my favorite tortilla chips and they are super clean. I thought that I would get these to go with this. So how good of a little snack would that be? So I picked those up. It's one of the least expensive places in town for these chips. And then I also saw these there as I was going down the chip aisle. These are the Boulder Canyon avocado oil classic sea salt kettle chips and they're ridge. So I thought this would also be good in this so these ingredients are perfection so potatoes avocado oil and salt that is it so of course points were here on the screen so two new new to me flavor of chips another loaf of the deli sourdough bread you guys know my husband is very favorable of this this is actually his new go-to bread and then a lot of you commented last week because I did not buy Cleo bars. I'm completely out now. I had, I think, four or five left, and I didn't want to waste them and then just buy something I didn't need. So I now need them. So I grabbed four strawberry and, of course, four vanilla of my Cleo bars. I love these. Two more packs of the Market Pantry taco seasoning for the dogs. We put this where they dig. They hate the smell of it. So if this is sprinkled on the ground, the rocks, the dirt, they won't dig there. So I grabbed two more packages. And then a couple of canned goods at Trader Joe's. I saw this Mount Olive, which I love Mount Olive products, but this is their organic sweet relish. Oh, it says new. So this is a new product. I love sweet relish so much. And I thought, mm, I'm going to try this because it's organic. It's in a small little jar. I like this on burgers and hot dogs, and you can put this in tuna and egg salad. So I grabbed that at Trader Joe's. And then I also picked up a can of the organic tomato sauce. I need this for a recipe. And then at Target for a recipe, I grabbed the Muir Glen diced organic tomatoes that are fire roasted. Bacon bits for a recipe. I think the recipe called for like four slices of bacon crumbled. Bacon bits is just so much easier. So I went ahead and grabbed those. And then while I was at Target, of course, what Target trip is complete without partake cookies. The, again, the birthday cake are my favorite. These cookies are the crunchy birthday cake. They are two points per cookie. They are gluten-free. They are delicious. I love these. So these are like a nice little sweet treat dessert. So I picked those up because when at Target. And then this is a new find. I actually saw this on the Target app. These are the Kodiak Cake Graham Bear Bites. Now they have these in honey, which is the ones that I picked up. And they also had them in chocolate. So basically a spin on graham crackers. And I thought that these would be really good dipped in that brownie batter hummus that I picked up a couple of weeks ago. I still have a little left in my fridge. And these are just great snacks. They're 100% whole grain non-gmo ingredients so since they were on the target app i grabbed them and wanted to give those a try and then of course a repeat purchase for my husband he loves these little mini apple pies so i just pop these in his lunch and then of course another thing that i generally buy whenever i go to target are the yasso ice cream bars these are my favorite chocolate chip cookie dough. I actually bought two packages because they really are my favorite flavor and they are five smart points per bar. They have decent ingredients, not perfect, but decent. And I really like them. They do have five grams of protein, which I love in a dessert. So they were on sale right now at Target for $3.50. So this is a new find. These are the Bubby's cookie dough ice cream bites in chocolate chip look at that basically it is edible cookie dough with vanilla chocolate chip ice cream inside uh yes please there are six in this box the ingredients aren't too terrible again anytime you buy like a packaged sweet treat you're going to have a couple of ingredients that i don't love but that's where 9010 comes in so i can't wait to try these i found these in the freezer section at target and then at Walmart, four more cans of green beans for the DOGs. They get these at dinner instead of table scraps. Of course, I grabbed another bag of my Purely Elizabeth chocolate sea salt and probiotic granola. I'm obsessed with this granola. It is so good. I love it on this Siggy's yogurt, just like a tablespoon of it. Love it. So I grabbed that. 
Another new find at Target is this Good and Gather Original Beef Jerky Trail Mix. So this has beef jerky, almond, oh, I'm sorry, almonds, cranberries, pumpkin, and sunflower seeds, kernels, oh, uh, sunflower seed kernels, and dried sweetened mango. Sorry, it's hard to read through the camera. But it wasn't too bad in calories, and it gives you five grams of protein per serving, and you can have an ounce for the calories. So I thought that wasn't bad, and this would be a great thing just to have on hand for a super quick snack. I've actually never seen that at Target before. Another new find is this True Fru Whole Cherries White and Dark Chocolate. So this is freshly frozen cherries that they have put in white and dark chocolate. Real fruit, all natural, clean ingredients, antioxidants, and 90 calories per serving. So you can have three pieces for 90 calories. So here are your ingredients. Again, not bad at all when it comes to ingredients. Actually pretty clean, like it says here on the package. They also had raspberries. So if I like these, I will definitely pick up the raspberries next time. Found these as well at Target in the freezer section. And then a repeat purchase of the Smash Mallows. These are the dark chocolate dipped cold brew. I love these. And that little dessert that I make with the Trader Joe's ice cream cone and chocolate chips. These are so good. They are dipped in chocolate. It literally tastes like a mocha coffee. It is so good. One of these is plenty for a sweet treat. I mean, seriously, it's perfect. The marshmallow and the chocolate. So I had to grab another bag of those. I really really like these. I still want to try the raspberry, but I just can't break away from the coffee. And then at Natural Grocers, I'm obsessed with these meat sticks. I showed these to you guys a couple of weeks ago. I love these. You can have this entire package for 75 calories, 10 grams of protein. This entire package is two points for both of the sticks, or you can eat one stick for one point. So they were still on sale, so I grabbed five. And then this is the turkey, but in the spicy. So this one is two points as well. So I thought I'd try it. I'm not a big spicy food person, but it sounds so good. These are amazing if you can find them. Perfectly clean ingredients. And then this was the free chocolate bar that I got at Natural Grocers when I checked out. So I grabbed it. I'll just divide it out as a sweet treat. You can actually have three squares for 180 calories. So we'll see how much one square is just for kind of a sweet treat. And then I grabbed some turkey pepperoni because we are going to be making pizzas on that yummy crust that I get from Imperfect Foods. So I picked that up. Now everything else is produce. A organic green pepper, two apples for breakfast meal prep. Surprise, surprise, my organic lemons for my water. Shredded carrots for a recipe this next week. Saved myself a step and just bought them shredded. Broccoli, which is also for a recipe. And then romaine lettuce for a salad recipe. A big, juicy, delicious watermelon before they're out of season. And then some frozen veggies from Walmart. I have the multicolor cauliflower blend and then two bags of the California blend carrot broccoli cauliflower. So that's it, my friend, for the food portion of this grocery haul. Let me show you the few things I picked up that are non-food related, and I'll tell you about the special going on right now at Target. Again, this week, you guys, I forgot a couple things. Picked up a dozen eggs at Target, and then also these Annie's Real Age Mac and Cheese Cups for my husband. These had a coupon on the Target app. So now that is all of the food. Let's take a look at the non-food. So Target had, if you spend $40 on household items, cleaners, laundry, pest control, whatever, you get a $10 Target gift card. So I decided to go ahead and buy $40 worth. I think I actually was over that, but I needed a few things anyway, so it was perfect timing. So here's what I grabbed. I did pick up these Everspring New Zealand wool dryer balls. So I have been wanting to get a set of dryer balls forever and never do it. And I saw on YouTube that it actually saves you money, which it says right here on the package, reduces static and drying time. And our sheets get super staticky. So I'm gonna try them and see if they help with that. And then some air freshener for the bathroom. And then I had to grab this hand soap for the kitchen for fall clove and nutmeg. It's seriously the cutest packaging, so I grabbed that. 
We need a toilet bowl cleaner for our third bathroom. So I picked up the seventh generation. And then I've been looking for anti-back spray. I've been really unable to find it really anywhere. And I do use this on my quartz counters in my kitchen whenever I have like chicken or, you know, something that needs to have an anti-back spray. So I picked up this Method one in Bamboo. I really like this brand. And then some cool cotton fabric smelly goodness for your clothes. And lastly, some of the up and up brand of the laundry detergent packs similar to gain so i picked up all of that ended up with a ten dollar gift card so really i spent 30 instead of 40. so here is this week's meal plan this is the week of august 15th through august 21st i can't believe august is almost over but on saturday today we are going to be going out for dinner or supporting a local business or it's my high calorie high point day so we always go out for a meal Sunday, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing the ranch chicken with bacon and broccoli. This recipe sounds so good. You will see this in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so this next Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. I will probably actually do healthy fried rice on Monday and then leftovers on Tuesday because I do jazzercise at night on Tuesday. So these, I will probably flip flop those two. Wednesday is meatball squash boat. So that's what I bought the spaghetti squash for. So again, that sounds really good. Thursday is a skillet taco salad. The romaine was purchased for that, the sour cream. So it's basically going to be a fun spin on a taco salad. And then Friday is leftovers. And on the back here of the weekly menu is where I plan out my meal prep. So you will be seeing all three of these recipes on Monday in my meal prep video. So stay tuned for that. For breakfast this week, I'm going to be making apple oatmeal, but I'm going to make it a protein oatmeal. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. For lunches, I'm gonna be doing buffalo chicken burgers, AKA buffalo turkey burgers, because I was not able to find ground chicken at the store. So I'm gonna substitute ground turkey, but essentially it's the same thing. We're gonna do blue cheese and buffalo sauce. I can't wait. And then I'm really excited for a snack. I'm going to do homemade granola bar. So I wanna do a healthy, clean eating version of a granola bar. So again, stay tuned for all three of these recipes in Monday's video. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. We had quite the fun haul this week. Lots and lots of new food finds. I will let you guys know that I tried those frozen chocolate covered cherries. Those are so good, like seriously amazing. One of them is the perfect sweet treat, especially on a hot day because they're frozen. They are delicious, so I'll definitely be repurchasing and picking up the raspberry. So stay tuned on Monday for meal prep and next Wednesday for what I eat in a day where you will see that really good ranch bacon and broccoli casserole. So again, if you're new, make sure you stick around, hit that little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Make sure you're checking out the description box below for all the discount codes, links to my favorite things, and the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join us over there. Give this video a big thumbs up if you are here for the grocery hauls, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Have a fantastic Saturday. Bye!